What's up everybody? Uh, this video, I'm going to show you how I turned some old mallard decoys into some black duck decoys to hopefully fool some ducks this fall. So, here it goes. Alright, I pressure washed them and uh, I just built this little cradle for them out of scrap. I gotta build another little section so that they can rest in uh, when we paint them here. But that first step, pressure wash them, try and get any old paint off. And this old girl got shot. There's a exit. You can hear the BBs in there. There's one. There's one. I'm gonna see if I can try and just use this slider here and just see if I can melt it. If not, I'll drill this out and spray some foam in it, I guess. So let's see if I can melt it here a little bit. Okay, what I ended up doing is uh, lighting this end of this old pen and then just filling in plastic in the holes. I'll sand it down before I paint it. So we'll see if that works. I just hit it with this little bit of 100 grit sandpaper, which I'll probably sand all these before I paint them anyways, but it filled in the hole. So we'll have to see if uh, that holds up, but I think with paint and flocking over it, at least even just, just the paint over top of it will keep the water out. If not, I'll cut the back off and fill it foam, but I think I'm gonna pass on the foam for now. Just see how that does. So. If you got any like that, that have some BBs in them that you don't think would float, maybe try melting a pen, see if it works. So I primed them, uh, just two coats of just a plastic primer. This is my BB one. So there's a, one of the holes. There's another hole. So I roughed them up, primed them twice. Now we're gonna move on to flocking. I'm not the best airbrusher, but um, I got a little system that's set up, and um, so far got some yellow laid down on this on these decoys. Um, let me turn you around, and I'll show you what I'm working with. All right, I just have a Harbor Freight cheapo $20 uh, airbrush. I bought some just yellow airbrush paint off Amazon, and I got it hooked up to my little two-gallon three gallons, sorry, air compressor. Um, so I got one coat on, I'm, I, I'm debating if I'm gonna do a second coat because I might just hit these with a little black then uh, just to try and tame down the yellow. But, because black duck bills are a little like, I read online, they're gray poupon colored. So they're not yellow, but they're not brown, but they're not green, they're just kinda, uh, so it's just self-fetching primer, plastic primer. Um, and I'm just hitting them with a little bit of airbrush. I'll see if I can set some up so that I can film airbrushing one. Let's see if I can shoot one into the camera here. So I'm running out. I'm running out of paint here, but um, not perfect. But I'll come back in when I and when I flock, I'll tape the bill off and uh, make a nice clean edge. So looking good so far. As you can see, they're a little too yellow. So I'm gonna have to come back through with some black or something and just knock them down, or some green or something, just to kind of take the yellow shine off it. I don't think it really matter all that much, but they do look a little cartoonish, too yellow. So I gotta get some more paint. I had my wife mix up color 
I'm very bad at colorblind. So um, the straight yellow was just way too yellow. So I had her mix up a color that uh, just to, looked at a picture of a black duck and, um, and now I'm hitting them with that color. Uh, it's just a mixture of brown and yellow and a little bit of red. So let me flip you around and I'll show you the difference. So I'm starting to put the black on the beaks. Um, I'm pretty happy with that color of beak. I did another coats, two coats, I think, after my last update. My do land, you, my. Do you, know a, do you know a Stephen, a Stephen Weiss? No. Okay. John's watching me work. Huh? I said, John is watching me work. I'm videoing. No, no, I'm supervising. <laughs> He's supervising. So I just brushed on some almond colored uh, latex and then got my sifter with some gray goose feather. So, and I dusted it. Dusted it. <laughs> dusted it. I'm gonna do that once, let them dry overnight and then do it again tomorrow. So, looks pretty good so far. John and I are having lively discussion about heaven. Not lively. <laughs> Barely hanging in the chair. First Thessalonians. Here they all. Are, here are my ducks all in a row, John. Yeah, you know, they're waiting your coming. <laughs> You're going to resurrect them. I'm going to resurrect the ducks. That's correct. <laughs> Turning the lifeless ducks into lively ducks. Lively ducks. This is the first coat of the head, so. Uh, do, they have, do they have uh, automated ducks that have little motors in? They do, yeah, I have I have some. Do they work? Yeah. You know what the old guys used to do back in the day? No. They'd tie real ducks. They'd capture live ducks, and they'd tie a line around their leg, and they'd let them swim around them. Oh, that's a great idea. It's outlawed now. You can't do it. You can't do that. No, it's specifically in the guidebook. It says no live decoys. Yep. I imagine that would be very effective. Probably. So I have two coats done. This is my BB one. Two coats of flocking done on the heads. And the bills look pretty good, actually. I think I probably hit them with a little bit of brown, maybe. But they look pretty good. So two, two done on the heads. And now I'm starting on the body. So gloss black underneath, feather brown, blocking. So <clears throat> I'll show you what they look like. Debbie, what are those? Put up the reserves. Got it. Yep. Hey, they're already looking better than I thought they would, so. <laughs> what do you see? All the ducks, yep. Two, or one coat of flocking on the body. That's a compliment. A backhanded one. Yeah, backhanded. I need to walk. What? What's going on? Nice. Huh? So you can see that they're shiny. They uh, they need another coat. But Rebby, what do you think of the ducks? What color are they? Yeah. Yeah, they're yellow. So here's the first flock. You can see those little shiny spots. Um, so I'm gonna try and show you how. Uh, how different it looks once the second flock goes on. Just painting the second coat on. So you just paint that second layer of black and get the whole thing painted. You can see where I painted where I haven't yet. Fully painted second coat. Let's flock it. So all I do is just take a little sifter, pour some in, sift it over, and then kind of just bump it off. Um, so you can see how nice it looks now. No shiny spots. Um, so I got 
couple more to do and then start airbrushing the feather detail. Looking good though. So my next step is airbrushing the heads. I'm gonna do all the heads first. Um, get this uh, like kind of chocolate Hershey's brown color laid down and then come back and do the feathers then after. So I got my setup here. Just got my air compressor set up and uh, I just got it up on a couple boxes. But um, I've been making, I think I've been making a little bit of a mistake is I'm making the head too wide. So I'm gonna try and stay a little thinner. It looks a little better, I think, if it's a little thinner. So. Running out of paint. That's not good. I think I am. Well, need to mix some more paint. <laughs> okay, so here's I got four done. This one was the first one, and my color expert said it was too yellow so I mixed up that one and that one I have a child with me that wants to look at herself on the phone do you like looking at yourself huh we are playing in the sprinkler so that's the last one I did the one on the right this one and it seems to be the best color combination so I might go over these two again with the, uh, especially that right there. I don't know what's going on down there. That looks bad. Uh, hit that again and then do the last three. Now two of these are mallards. You can see the feather differences and the tails. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. I might just freehand them, I guess. These are pretty much all of these feathers are in there in the mold, but then the front of it is kind of freehand and the top is kind of freehand until you get to the back because all of the tops are a little different, but that's all right. So three left to go and then a uh, little purple patch. We'll probably go back here. I don't know if I'll do it on the hens. I guess I could just keep these hens and then make these drakes if I wanted to, I guess. So we'll see. So I have them all detail feathered, and then I just hit two of them with a little bit of purple I mixed up to kind of give it that male look. So overall, I think they turned out pretty good. Um, I'll be excited to hunt with them this year, see what I can do with it. Yeah, it's been a fun little project. I think I'm gonna reflock or flock some mallard heads um, on my nice mallards. They're not flocked. They're starting to kind of get beat up. So I bought some mallard green flocking and maybe flock some of them. But yeah, I, I think uh, it worked out. Um, for not airbrushing ever before, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna post it to a decoys flocker page I'm a part of on Facebook, see what people say about it. So um, yeah, for my first time, I'm happy with it. Good little summer project. We'll see you on the next one.